Hi, my name's Leah. I'm going to give um, demonstrate how to give baby a bath, and this is baby Rosie, so she's going to help us. First, you want to get all your supplies ready. Um, you want warm water in a pan near near you here. You need um, some baby soap and baby lotion, some washcloths, and lots of blankets or towels. Okay. Never leave the baby by itself when you're giving a baby bath. Um, you want to give a sponge bath till the cord falls off, or if the baby is a boy and he's circumcised, um, until the circumcision is healed as well. Um, at that point, you can put the baby in the little baby tub bath water. Just never leave him or her by himself. Even if it's just, just an inch of water, um, the baby can um, have some problems there. So always keep an eye on the baby when giving a bath. First thing first is you um, want to wash the eyes first. And you start with uh, the inner corner of the eye, and you're going to go to the outer corner of the eye. No soap on the washcloth. So you're going to go inner to the outer. And then you're going to take another area of the washcloth and go to the other eye. Same thing. Go from the inner eye to the outer eye. And after you do the eyes, you want to do the rest of the face. No soap, just warm water. And babies don't quite like this yet, so they're going to cry. They're going to turn red, and, and that's, that's normal. Never stick anything in the baby's ears. No Q-tips. And then make sure you get underneath the baby's neck really good, underneath the baby's chin. Oh, my. We're going to save washing the hair for last. A lot of babies, uh, they lose their heat when their hair is wet, so you always wash the ha their hair last. We're going to use um, baby soap and wash the, uh, the rest of her. Goodness. Just put some baby soap on your washcloth and you're just going to sponge bath her, sponge bathe her. Around her cord, you just uh, you don't want to get the cord wet, so you just wash around it. And then on baby girls, you want to make sure you wash down. And then to rinse off, you just take another washcloth, no soap, and you just do the same thing. You just wash over the area that you washed over, or rinse over, rinse over the area that you just washed. Babies don't get dirty yet. They're not playing in mud puddles, so they don't need a bath every day. Um, usually. Um, a sponge bath maybe once every three days. Too many baths can actually dry their skin out, so just a few baths. Once, and like I said, once the cord dries off, then you can put her in little baby bathtub water. She'll probably cry the first couple times, but then she'll start getting used to it and she'll love it. And when I uh, dry my babies off, I usually just kind of pick them up with a baby blanket.
and just kind of pat him. And usually they get a little happier then. Something about baby girls, um, a lot of baby girls will have a, a vaginal discharge. It's usually like a white gray discharge. That's normal. Some babies girl, some baby girls will have like a little reddish discharge or pinkish discharge in the diaper, and that's normal too. That's just like called a false period, and that's just uh, secreting hormones from the uh, from the mom's pregnancy. Uh, she's not having a real period, so everything's okay. Um, a lot of times, baby boys and girls may have. Um, a little, their uh, chest breast buds may be a little enlarged, and that's normal too. Um, they may even secrete a little bit of breast milk, and that's okay too. Okay. Um, if your uh, baby is a baby boy and you do plan to have him circumcised, your nurse and doctor will uh, tell you how to take care of the circumcision while you're here at the hospital. We're going to go um, wash her hair okay so I'm gonna take her usually when I wash the baby's hair if they have um, if they have a little bit of hair or quite a bit of hair I usually go to uh, the sink and when you're at home the best place would be like your kitchen sink because your faucet is um, high enough that you won't bump her or his head so we'll go over to our sink here okay. so now we're gonna watch uh, baby Rosie's hair and you just want to kind of Tuck them over like a football, okay? You want to make sure you support their bottom and the back of their neck just like this. You want your water to be nice and warm, not too cold, not too hot, obviously. And unfortunately, this sink is a foot pedal, so I kind of go back and forth. I apologize. And just be careful not to, you know, get her eyes. And usually the hair washing, when they get their hair washed, they love it. The babies are, it's just so peaceful for them and soothing. I do a little bit of baby soap and just kind of gently scrub that on there. Again, you're just supporting their body and their neck. And then you're rinsing that soap off. And that's it to that. It is okay to use a comb. Uh, it does not hurt their soft spots. So you can comb their hair. Say yes. And then with their blanket or towel as I just kind of gently dry their hair okay never use a um, hair blow dryer never use a hair blow dryer on their hair it would be too hot for their head and their hair is really uh, fine and um, and it dries very quickly also what you can do is um, use uh, put a baby hat back on their head and it will help them stay nice and warm um, after you wash them, you can put baby lotion on them. Just never put baby lotion on their face um, and on their hands. They like to put their hands in their mouth, so never put lotion on their hands. And sometimes babies will have these little baby zits and stuff, and that's normal. Um, just never put any kind of lotion on their face. Um, with the umbilical cord, you just keep it clean and dry. We don't put alcohol on it. You don't need to clean it with alcohol. Just keep it clean and dry. If you notice anything oozing from the umbilical cord or um, if there's a lot of redness around the belly button, you need to call your do baby doctor. Your ba uh, umbilical cord should fall off in about anywhere from one to two weeks. Um, just let it fall off by itself. After it falls off, it does have little gooey stuff in the belly button. That's normal. Take a Q-tip or Kleenex and just kind of wipe it off.
I think she liked her hair being washed better. <laughs> She's got her lotion on. We're going to swaddle her up in a blanket. When you do a baby swaddle, you want to um, lay the blanket down, fold the corner down so it looks like an uh, upside-down triangle. And you're going to line her shoulders right up against the line of the top of the blanket. I usually try to bring their hands down, or you can leave their hands up. You're going to fold one side over, and you're going to tuck this underneath her bottom. Just like that. And then you're going to fold the bottom part up. And then just make sure you don't cover their faces. And then the other side, you just fold it over and nice and snug. These babies like to be nice and snug. So you're just going to fold it over like this. And it kind of looks like a little baby burrito. There she is. <laughs> 